Greetings, 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 family. Hey there, this is Sis D. I am just dropping in to give y'all a warm-hearted, gentle reminder, okay? So, I'm going to just jump right in because I don't want this to be a super long video. But I just definitely, this is kind of, uh, I, I believe, is a more serious topic um, for us believers to be reminded of. So, I'm going to share this with y'all, okay? So, this title is, Are You Really In Love? Okay, yeah, hold on, y'all. Are you really in love? And I'm gonna also, of course, put a spin on it. I'm not talking about human being to human being. <laughs> okay, so many of us come from these religious religious institutions, and we aren't really taught how to love the Lord the most high. OK, so whether you came out of a church or whether you came out a, of a synagogue, a temple, a mosque, whatever, many times we come out of these religious institutions and we aren't really taught how to love the Lord most high. We're giving these very, very vague, these very vague kind of, oh, um just only pray or only do this but y'all i'm gonna i'm gonna throw something in and of course i'm always gonna come scripture okay whatever i say you will not only be convicted or you will receive confirmation in your spirit but you can go back to the scriptures and line it up with what i'm saying as well so two ways to confirm that's like a two-step verification process on your phone Sis D says things where well, you should have a, at least a two-step confirmation, okay? So, we are commanded to love the Most High with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our strength or might. That can be found in Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven. It's also echoed in Luke twenty thirty-seven and Deuteronomy 6, Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 7, okay? Again, we are commanded... To love the Most High with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our strength, or our might. Okay? And I'm going to drop these uh, biblical scriptures in the description so you guys can go, go back and take a look at them. Okay? Third, I'm going to jump into how do we actually love the Lord Most High? Okay? Instructions for us. So, John 14, 15. If you love me... Keep my commandments. All right. If you love me, Lord most high, great I am, true vine, Elohim, whatever name or title you want to put, I'm I'm going to say great spirit or most of the time I'm going to say the Lord most high or the most high Yah. That's where I'm going with, okay? How do we actually love the Lord most high, John 14, 15, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So we always, most of the time, hear about the, hear about the, the primary two or primary two or principal two. Then that's the basics. Love the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, all your might. Uh, love the Lord God first. Put no other gods before. First two. Then you get a little bit more flesh on it. You get the big 10. Most of us hear about the big 10. We, when we are in either Sunday school or yada, yada, whatever we come out of. And then from the two principal to the big 10 to the big whopper. Okay. 600 plus to flesh that thing out and really fill it up for you. Okay. So, um, I just wanted to go really quickly and share with y'all scripturally we are taught we serve a jealous god yeah okay we serve a jealous yeah he wants all of our attention all of our affection yeah so that's not in a bad way and let me give it to you guys like it was the message was given to me when you guys are first dating someone and all of us should be mature adults and 
you've hopefully been in love at least once. When you first start dating someone that you're really um, into and you're really vibing that person and you just enjoy their company, first thing when you wake up, you want to either shoot them a text or pick up the phone and call them. You want to chat with them or message them all throughout the day. Hey, babe, how you doing? I was just thinking about you. I woke up this morning. You were first thing on my mind. That's how we should think about the Lord Most High. First thing when you wake up in the morning, Abba, Father, I just wanted to say thank you for a good night's rest. I was thinking about you. Think about it in that way, okay? All throughout the day, you want to just whisper sweet nothings. Father, I'm thinking about you. Thank you so. Thank you for being so great to me. Thank you for being so merciful to me. Thank you for providing for me. Thank you for touching my ba my body. Thank you for meeting all of my needs. I just love you so much. I appreciate you so much. Each and every one of us can relate to, you know how that feels when somebody that you're in a relationship with appreciates you, right? And when they're telling you sweet nothings, that makes you want to give that person more, meet their needs more when they are communicating with you and letting you know what works for them and vice versa. That's how we should see the relationship. And y'all, let me side note it real quick. Sis D is always going to come relationship, reconciliation, not religion. That's not what I'm about. The Messiah showed us the example. We are not supposed to be doing religion because religion can lead you wrong. But if you are tapped into the most high to true vine to I am, you're never going to go wrong. That's how he started in the beginning in Genesis. It was about relationship. Hey, Adam, what's going on? You good? What you up to? Ah, nothing, Father. Just out here naming animals, you know. Doing dominion like you told me, like you gave me authority to do. Just, just, just chilling. Good. I just wanted to come check you out, see how you was doing, see if you was good. Relationship, not religion. Relationship, y'all. And this is the hour where we must reconcile back to that place. So, y'all, I'm always going to come in a perspective that is different, that is somewhat revolutionary. Yeah, I said it. I used the, the cursed R word, revolutionary. I don't want y'all to ever think anymore, as long as you guys are listening to me, religion. Don't. I want you to always think relationship and reconciliation back to the Lord Most High. Okay? So begin to think of it like a paramour um, endeavor. Right? Just like when you naturally fell in love with a person, think about your spiritual relationship in that manner. The things that you would do to a person that you're trying to woo, that you're trying to court. Think about it that way and apply those kind of same concepts or mm, concept is not a great word, but those same manners or mannerisms. That might not even be the best word either, but y'all y'all know where I'm going with it, okay? The person you're in love with, you want to communicate with them. You want to tell them you appreciate them. You want to shower them with gifts and words and adorations and do that to the Lord Most High. Yeah? So, I hope that this message is resonating with you guys. Again, I'm going to drop scriptures in the description box so that you guys can go and take a look at the things that I've said to you guys via in the scriptures. You guys, this is a gentle reminder. I hope that it makes sense to y'all. Um, if y'all need me to flesh it out a little bit more, put a little bit of meat on those bones of what, I, what I've given you guys, I will gladly do that. But I think this is for some of y'all who are newer to the channel, at least anyway, this will give you a good understanding of where I'm going to go spiritually, okay? Relationship and reconciliation to Father Yah, not religion. And if we start with the love 
principle or the love concept, we're never going to go wrong. Because as we go down further, the scriptures talk about this is love, what love looks like, the characteristics of love, how love behaves itself, love and its mannerisms. I'll get to it, y'all. I'll get to y'all. I'm telling you, I'm helping y'all to build your spiritual armament box. Okay? So I, I can't drop everything on y'all all at once, but nuggets, y'all. Breadcrumbs down the trail. And if y'all stay with me, if y'all hang with me, I promise with everything that's in me, I'm going to give y'all as much as what I what has been poured out to the sis D, I'm going to give it back to y'all, okay? So, um, I'm getting ready to wrap right now, but I want to say welcome, welcome to the new subscribers, to those that are international. I see you. Thank you so much for hailing out and letting me know. Thank you, y'all, international ones, for putting throwing your flags up. I appreciate you. One of the sisters gave me a wonderful comment about stitching flags together, and I definitely am praying about that. So y'all who are international, who are new to the channel, throw your flags up, represent where you're from. I see you, I see you, beloveds. Thank you and welcome to the channel, to my delightful family, to the Vibe Up Y'all tribe. I see y'all as well. Thank you y'all so much for commenting, sh subscribing, sharing, for liking. Thank you so much y'all. It's helping to get the algorithm up and get the numbers up. I appreciate each and every one of the, one of you all, one of y'all <laughs> with my country slang, even though I'm a city country girl. I'll go country sometimes, city sometimes, y'all. So thank you, y'all, for all that you're doing to help get the algorithm out there. And with that, I'm going to close by saying vibe up, y'all, vibe up. This is D, and I'm out.